All disease starts in the gut. Hippocrates. This is not said lightly, but medical science has figured out that there is one factor that has been directly correlated to the severity and probability of almost every single disease. And that one factor is diversity of microbes in the gut. It has been linked to every single communicable disease, every single non-communicable disease, every single autoimmune disease, and almost every mental illness there is. The solution is simple in theory, to get more healthy strains of microbes in your gut, but becomes more difficult in practice. We know that modern lifestyle sort of wrecks the microbiome. I talked about it extensively in my first microbiome video, which I do recommend you watch before this one. In that video, I talked about two solutions for rebiosis, or rebuilding a healthy microbiome again. One, FMT, which stands for Fecal Microbiota Transplant. This is taking the healthy microbes out of someone's fecal material and putting them inside your own gut. Two, supplementation and consumption. This is consuming lots of fermented foods, probiotics, and healthy plants. And to be honest, I become frustrated and not very pleased with the two pathways for rebiosis. FMT works incredibly well, but it's costly and requires a hospital, a prescription, and an invasive medical procedure. It's also kind of disgusting. It's also easier to get into Harvard than to find a good potential donor. But if everything is done right, it's very effective. FMT is effective because of the high quantity and diversity of microbes. Unfortunately, the results are great for getting rid of a pathogen, but the other effects are just temporary. Supplementation and consumption can be effective if enough probiotic strains are consumed in high enough quantities. But in reality, it's just not financially or physically possible to consume enough to make a difference. To get enough microbes, you would need to consume dozens of bottles of different multi-strain probiotics each day. It could work, but nobody wants to spend thousands of dollars a month and swallow hundreds of pills. So I've been researching and researching, trying to figure out if there is a better way. I'm looking for something that is almost as effective as FMT without the F, the M, or the T. So without having to consume someone else's poo. And I've finally found a solution. I have started incubating and growing dozens of strains of commensal, or helpful microbes, in a dairy-based medium. This is classified as a biotherapeutic grade multi-strain probiotic. This way I can get numbers significantly higher than off-the-shelf probiotics. Biotherapeutics or biologicals are drug therapy products where the active substance is extracted and produced from the biological source. So each strain of microbe has its own growth curve which contains a life cycle of lag, exponential growth, stationary numbers, and death over time. The shape of each microbe's growth curve depends on how much food there is for it to eat, the temperature, moisture, and other environmental factors. I've carefully selected dozens of the most scientifically proven and helpful strains and incubated them into a single yogurt-based product. Each strain I've selected has thousands if not tens of thousands of hours of medical research on it. As I said before, each person suffering from these, the most common medical conditions, has something in common they all lack specific strains in their gut microbiome. We know that certain diseases are directly related to the people lacking specific strains of microbes in their gut. For example, people with depression and anxiety generally lack these specific microbe strains. People who are overweight also lack another set of specific microbes in their gut. Since there is so much crossover in the microbiome, Many helpful strains work on many conditions, and this biotherapeutic probiotic I've been incubating is specifically designed to replace these missing microbes for all of these conditions. Because it's not as simple as adding one strain to fix one problem, this is why a single probiotic generally doesn't have a noticeable difference, because the microbiome doesn't work like that. The microbiome is profoundly complex, and I'm not falling victim to reductionist thinking like supplement companies seem to do. Microbiomes work in an unknowingly complicated and dynamic ecosystem, and only when there is a wide diversity of microbes with significant enough numbers can they start to drastically improve someone's health. I do this by making the growing conditions ideal. I feed them exactly what they like to eat and incubate them under these perfect conditions allowing them to grow at the logarithmic rates. In fact, I allow them to double an average of 12 times, which is the limit before the microbes start to decline at the same exponential rate. Doubling 12 times means that if I start off with 1 billion microbes, I end up with 4 trillion. If I start out with 250 trillion, I end up with a quadrillion. Now we are getting to the levels that they are efficacious. 
If you look at a probiotic and see that it says 1 billion microbes on it, you may think that that sounds like a lot until you realize that new strain is outnumbered 100,000 to 1. If there are 100,000 members of a political party in a town all competing for votes and resources, how much of an influence do you think one member of the opposing political party would make? They would have little to no effect, and this is why studies on probiotics show they aren't very effective. They are on the right track, but their numbers are too low. Adding 0.00001% of new microbes to a huge ecosystem isn't going to do anything. However, if you start to add 3 to 15% more healthy microbes every single day, you can see how those numbers are high enough to start making a real change in your gut's microbiome. So I've gathered dozens of strains of microbes and started to incubate those that work and grow at exponential rates together in a dairy and yogurt-based medium. Mathematically, allowing these strains to double 12 times means that I should end up with 4,096 times more microbes than when I started with. In reality, according to flow cytometry tests, which are lab tests that are used to count and analyze microbes, the most conservative microbe count for even the most sensitive strain is at worst about one-fourth of the calculated numbers due to environmental factors. I'm always looking for more strains that I can incubate, so check the website for the latest version. But for example, at time of making this video, my version 2, 2023 version, has 49 strains of microbes. A one-month supply for one person, one half-gallon container, should at minimum contain 82 trillion microbes. That's one-fourth of 328 trillion. At the recommended daily dosage of one-fourth cup, this is calculated to be 2.6 trillion microbes. Most multi-strain probiotics contain only an average of a handful of strains, and their numbers are on average about 5.86 billion microbes per dose. One dose of my current version has over 600% more strains and 5,857% more number of microbes, all at a fraction of the cost without having to swallow over 100 pills to get the same amount. Again, please visit the website to see the most current version estimates and offerings. On the website, it explains in depth why each strain is included and the science behind the reasoning. I will just talk about my favorite strains, Limos lactobacillus ruderi and lactobacillus ruderi candler. Catchy, huh? We just call it L. ruderi. Modern lifestyle has almost made L. ruderi completely extinct. In fact, 96% of the world's population no longer has it. Mice that lack L. ruderi have accelerated aging, they gain fat, lose hair, muscle, bone density, interest in sex, and lose immune protection. Those with this strain basically stay young until death. The benefits are amazing. And this strain survives the entire intestinal tract. There are dozens of other similarly helpful strains that science has thousands of studies on. You can read more about them on the website. Dosage. So even though this is made with a yogurt starter, is incubated similar to yogurt, looks like yogurt, and tastes like yogurt, the FDA says I cannot legally call it yogurt. So officially, it's a biotherapeutic grade multi-strain probiotic and prebiotic. I'm working on a better name. So how does it taste? To be honest, it's not really good. It's not really bad either. It's just plain and unsweetened. I suggest you put it in a smoothie or add some fruit, granola, or honey. If you love tanginess, you will love it. What's weird is after a little while, you will start to almost irrationally, intensively crave it as that's your body telling you how much it appreciates the additional microbes. The body reacts similarly with other fermented foods. Even though it's not really fair to compare freshly incubated healthy alive food to shelf stored freeze dried probiotics, I'm going to do it anyways. The microbe numbers on the bottle of shelf stored probiotics are measured in CFU which stands for colony forming unit. Those are estimated number of microbes at the time of manufacture and decline significantly once they are freeze dried and leave the factory. In other words, those numbers are quite generous very optimistically, let's assume half are viable. If you purchased every single probiotic in the clinic and the top 100 probiotics sold on the market today, you would spend about $3,400 for one month supply. Each morning after you swallowed 100 pills, you would indeed get a dosage of about 2.5 trillion microbes, which is at the numbers needed where significant improvements to your health can start to happen. Or, you could consume a mere one-fourth cup of this incubated multi-strain probiotic, which would give you a similar dose of about 2.6 trillion microbes. 
all for $50 a month. The same benefit and you don't have to swallow over 100 pills or spend thousands of dollars. The ease, efficacy, and value of this probiotic are off the charts. There is nothing that comes even remotely close to the number of viable, helpful strains or the sheer astronomical number of microbes, all for a fraction of the cost. So you are paying significantly less for a vastly superior product. And I have added inulin powder, which is a fiber that makes it into a prebiotic as well that helps feed all the microbes in your gut, not just the new strains. As far as I know, nobody in the world has created a probiotic with more commensal strains in higher quantities. Because it's the same problem with healthy food. Nobody can package healthy, fresh, alive food and store it on the shelf. This is perishable and you need to refrigerate it. Stir it every day and it will last a month no problem. I have no hesitancy in saying this is one of the most effective yet economical probiotic supplements on the planet. Visit immunoexercise.com to find out more and sign up for this yogurt. I mean biotherapeutic multi-strain fermented dairy probiotic. We can coordinate a pickup or delivery time so this can get to you as fresh as possible. We do not make excessive stock. We only make the exact amount ordered. Due to high demand and limited production capacity, we operate off a short wait list. So the sooner you sign up, the sooner you can get some. What to expect. When you start taking this, you may experience what's officially called the die-off effect. This involves mild-grade gastrointestinal sensations where the huge new army of good microbes are battling and overwhelming the bad ones. These sensations are evidence of the battle you are winning. In the rarest of instances, you may become highly nauseous, so much so that you are throwing up. This could be an indicator you have SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. This is where the microbes have spread to other areas of your intestines that they should not be. You should discontinue use and contact your practitioner. If you are faithfully using this protocol in its entirety, you can expect near miraculous results. Do not think you can just start using this product and everything will change. For example, without adjusting your harmony, it will do nothing at best, as it's just part of a complete healing protocol. However, done right, these are the most common effects reported by users. The first thing is a diminishment to complete alleviation of digestive issues. A lighter, happier feeling with less anxiety and depression. Start losing weight. And what's most interesting to me is people are reporting they are remembering their dreams more, probably because they are having better sleep. Kinder feelings towards others. Diminished junk food cravings. Softer, smoother, and more uniform skin with fewer wrinkles, and improved metabolic metrics. These reports make perfect sense when you understand that all diseases are directly correlated to gut dysfunction. When you fix the gut, the body is able to repair and heal. There is also a direct correlative link to gut health and thyroid and hormone issues. There is no thyroid fix without treating the gut microbiome. Now remember, this biotherapeutic fermented dairy-based multi-strain probiotic is just part of our complete rebiosis plan. We need a good offense and defense, so check out the website or watch the next video for easy, cheap, and free things to do and not do to maximize your microbiome and immune health. Remember, you can't heal without harmonizing first. Watch my Harmony video to learn more.